What's good, folks? It's your boy, the Mixed Monster, DJ Coach K here, and welcome to Ask a Real DJ. Now, before we get started, do me and yourself a favor. Like, love, follow, and subscribe to all my social media pages from Facebook to YouTube, if you haven't already. And when subscribing to YouTube, be sure to hit that bell on the side to get reminders of new videos coming out each and every Wednesday. Any other day you get a video from me, consider it a bonus. And now, here's this week's episode of Ask a Real DJ. Oh man, as you can see right now, folks, how you living first and foremost. I am outside. I'm enjoying this weather. You know, I can go into the politics of everything that's going on. I know what's going on. It's crazy. But, hey, you know something? This is not about what's going on out there. This is about you, the DJ. Because as I promised, and I like to try to do my best to keep my word, I'm going to give you fresh content each and every Wednesday. So here we are again, and we're going to talk about part three of DJ Coach K's 10 Commandments for DJs. All right, now if you'd like to see part one and part two, I'm going to rehash them real quick, but you can also go back to see those episodes that are on my page. So feel free if you feel like doing that. However, we're going to talk about the fifth and sixth commandments for DJs. Personally, my 10 commandments, okay? Number five, play to the crowd and not yourself. You know, the late great DJ Easy Rock once said to me when I asked him this question, what do I do? How do I play about the crowd? He said, coach, plain and simple, give the people what the f- they want. Period. Got the memo? Good. Remember, your job is to rock the house, make the party a party, make their party a party, I should say, not make it your personal party. Remember, what music is popping in your ears might be white noise in theirs. So you might be rocking out and, they, and all they hear is, uh, yeah, you know, uh, 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 think about that. See, you as the DJ, it's your job to make an educated guest, a.k.a. read the crowd, that you're going to find the right songs at the right time to keep the dance floor filled with happy feet. Trust, I play a lot of songs I personally can't stand them i can't stand them at all whatsoever however it's not about me it's about them my audience and i'm going to give the people what the they want period you do that and i promise you this playing to the crowd and not yourself will make you a great dj on another level all right which takes me into number six entertain Engage, excite. See, I live by the three E's because this is what keeps my dance floors packed on a daily basis. Well, I ain't got no dance floors right now, except online. Those four people. Shout out to Rob Rhino on that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. That whole DJ with no personality is the worst kind of DJ to me. People feed off your energy. Let me tell you, they feed off your energy as well as the music. So, do more than that Serato mummy phase, you know? Oh, my goodness. Stop that. You're doing this at your events. You're showing no personality, and sometimes your dance floor is reflecting. A lot of times it's reflecting. You know, as DJ Kid Capri said, one person gets the same energy and performance from me as if it were a thousand people at an event. What you got to do is take them on a musical journey and put some stank on it, man. Put it on it. You know, like uh, Ja Rule said, put it on me. You know, because here's your opportunity to either make them want more of you or say thank you for your services. But you'll never hear from them again. Why? Because you had no personality. Your dance flow was lacking. They did not enjoy themselves. It's plain and simple. So do what I say when I say entertain, engage, and excite your crowd. And for you DJs that do not understand the power of the microphone, learn it. Learn how to use it, when, and how. You'll thank me in the long run. All right? So, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Next week, we'll talk about seven and eight. 
and all that good stuff. All right, but uh, for now, once again, number one, practice. Number two, know your lane. Number three, know the business side of being a DJ. Number four, market thyself. Number five, play to the crowd and not yourself. And number six, entertain, engage, and excite your crowd. All right, it's your boy, The Mix Monster, right here. I'm going to tell you like this. Like, love, follow me, and all that good stuff. And we will talk once again, man. I promise you that it may be sooner than next Wednesday. It may just be next Wednesday. However, we'll figure it out. Once again, like I said, do me a favor. Like, love, follow, and subscribe to all my social media pages from Facebook to YouTube. If you haven't already, at DJ Coach K and also at The Mix Monster. And when subscribing to my YouTube channel, be sure to hit that little bell on the side so you can get reminders of videos coming out each and every Wednesday and whatever else comes out is a bonus all right it's your boy the mix monster DJ coach K saying I'm up I'm out of here see you wouldn't want to be you salute deuces